Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. In the last video we saw how to calculate the empirical formula of a compound. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the empirical formula of a compound and its relative molecular mass to determine the molecular formula. OK, here's a question for you to try. A compound contains 43.66% phosphorus and 56.34% oxygen. The compound has a relative molecular mass of 284 grams per mole. Determine the empirical formula of the compound and the molecular formula. OK, now I'd like you to answer the first part of this question. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, as we saw in the last video, first we list the elements present in the compound. We then write the percentages under each element. Next, we calculate the number of moles of each element by dividing by the relative atomic masses. We then work out the ratio by dividing both numbers by the smallest number. The smallest number is 1.41. This gives us a ratio of 1 phosphorus to 2.5 oxygens. Now remember that the empirical formula is the simplest whole number ratio of the atoms of each element in a compound. So next, we need to multiply these numbers by 2 to get whole numbers. This gives us an empirical formula of P2O5. OK, so hopefully you got that far. Now the question asks us for the molecular formula of this compound. And it tells us that the compound has a relative molecular mass of 284 grams per mole. Now to tackle this question, we need to think about the empirical formula. Remember that the empirical formula is simply the ratio of the atoms of each element in the molecule. What that means is that the actual number of atoms of each element in the molecule could be any whole number multiple of the empirical formula. So the molecular formula could be P2O5, or it could be P4O10, or P6O15. So how do we determine which is the molecular formula of this compound? Well, to do that, we first need to calculate the relative molecular mass of the empirical formula. This comes to 142 grams per mole. Now the question tells us that the relative molecular mass of our compound is 284 grams per mole. So now we divide the relative molecular mass of the compound by the relative molecular mass of the empirical formula. 284 divided by 142 gives us a value of 2. This tells us that the molecular formula of our compound is 2 times the empirical formula. So from this, we know that the molecular formula of our compound is P4O10. Coming up, I'll give you one more question to try. OK, here's another question for you. A compound contains 40.0% carbon, 6.7% hydrogen, and 53.3% oxygen. The compound has a relative molecular mass of 180 grams per mole. Determine the empirical formula and molecular formula of the compound. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, first we list the elements present in the compound. We've got carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. We then write in the masses or percentages of each element. Next, we calculate the number of moles by dividing by the relative atomic masses. We then find the ratio by dividing all the numbers by the smallest number. In this case, the smallest number is 3.33. This gives us a ratio of one carbon to two hydrogens to one oxygen. This means that the empirical formula is CH2O. To work out the molecular formula, we need to calculate the relative molecular mass of the empirical formula. This comes to 30 grams per mole. The question tells us that the compound has a relative molecular mass of 180 grams per mole. Dividing 180 by 30 gives us a multiple of 6 times. This means that the molecular formula is 6 times the empirical formula. This gives us a molecular formula of C6H12O6. OK, so hopefully now you can calculate the empirical formula of a compound and work out the molecular formula given the empirical formula and the relative molecular mass.